Hello guys, what's up? Some of you asked me to make a video on how you can play both versions uh, We're gonna do this now First of all, I would like to show you how you can play version 106 online uh, If uh, you are only interested in seeing how you can play both versions just skip to the last minutes of the video and you can see it there, it's not complicated but right now I'm going to show you uh, what you need for uh, in order to play version 106 online. First of all, you're going to need a Diamond Tools Lite or any version of Diamond Tools, it doesn't matter. If you have this already, just skip this step. You can download it, install it. Uh, I have already done this. I have uh, the link on my description. It's the first link on my description. Uh, if you need to da download Diamond Tools Lite Second of all, I need you to download uh, the 106 patch uh, You can find this on my second link on my description uh, Basically this patch is on English If you need any other language, just search, in, search it on your own on Google and you can find it there uh, Very important is uh, not to run the patch, the 106 patch yet just wait a little bit, I'm gonna show you why um, download the patch but don't run it, very important uh, what I need you to do before you run the patch is go to wherever you have um, installed the battle for middle earth file and uh, open, open it up it's in Electronic Arts, so you're gonna find the Battle for Middle Earth file there so let's say you currently have version 100 I need you to copy this file and then go to a new file if you have two hard disks, go to another hard disk if you have uh, two, uh, a partition, go to the partition uh, but if you still have one disk uh, it's okay, just go to a different uh, folder a folder though where you know it's gonna stay there and not going to get changed or maybe deleted so I have two disks so I, I have made another folder in my other disk calling Lotr and in this folder I need you to create two uh, new folders you're gonna name one 100 and the other 106 anything you like just uh, in order to help you know which folder is which version so I need you to go into this folder it should be empty for you and uh, paste the battle for middle earth file here I have done this already this is it so this is version 100 once you have done this now it's time to run the 106 patch uh, I have 1002 so let's do this together you just run the patch wait for it to finish when it's finished you will see patch successful and uh, what we need to do right now is go to the third link on my description and you will go to game copy world so you will see a specific section on game fixes and I need you to download the file where it says Lotter Battle for Middle Earth 2 Euro No DVD Fixed Image Number 2 I need you to download this file I have downloaded it already so you can click on that and then um, when you have downloaded the file extract it you only gonna need two files that contains inside I'm not sure I think it had more files in it but you only need those two files they are called Lot of Battle for Middle Earth 2 both so one is an MDF file and the other is an MDS file so what I need you to do now is uh, 
If you have already installed Diamond Tools, just double click the MDS file, it will open right up for you. If this doesn't work, just go and find your Diamond Tools light, open it, and now you can drag and drop the file inside. Remember, it's the MDS file, the small file, not the big file. So right now you can mount the image with Diamond Tools and once you're done you will see this um, this pop-up right here once you have seen this you are done you need to do nothing else just close all files including uh, diamond tools you no longer need diamond tools open to play it uh, it has already mounted your image and it will continue to play it unless you move those two files in a different location or uh, mount a different image with diamond tools so my suggestion is move those two files in a place where you wanna, you're gonna leave them there and not move them again because if you change them then you're gonna need to mount the image again with diamond tools so if you leave those two files there and, and you also never mount another image with diamond tools you basically will never need to open another folder again, another file again. Uh, so, if we go now and launch Battle for Middle Earth 2, you're gonna see that the version will be 106. Right here you can see version 106, you are good to go to play online. One last thing I need you to do before all this is, right now once you have confirmed that you have version 106, I need you to copy the file and go back to where you, have, uh, you had uh, pasted the 100 version file and right now I need you to go into the folder 106 it should be empty for you again and just paste it here I have done this already so basically what we have managed is to make a gap a backup of uh, the two versions and uh, let's say now I have 106 and let's say I need to play a game in 100 I just uh, go to the electronic arts folder and delete my battle for middle earth and go version 100 okay not copy not cut copy and paste it inside here in the electronic arts folder that's where the game uh, looks for the files when it starts so that's where you should always have a battle for middle earth folder so it basically takes about one minute to copy and paste and uh, I think that's the quickest way because another guy said you can uh, create two users on your windows and uh, log off from one and log into another to play the two versions. I think uh, uh, it's a better this way, it's a lot easier and especially if you have a good computer it could take you less than one minute to copy and paste the files every time you need to switch versions. Besides that, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to load the game one more time to show you that we are back to version 100. Um, I believe the most important things to remember about uh, this tutorial is uh, to make your backup copy of Battle for Middle Earth before running the 100. Then once you're done with 106, make another copy of that to a folder you know its location. Um, I have also uh, posted a fourth link that's uh, a link, a tutorial on how to play version 106. Maybe if I wasn't helpful about that you can see this guy's video. It's the fourth link 
on my description and uh, yeah this guy pretty much uh, describes very analytically how you can play uh, how you can run the 106 version so what I'm gonna do now is run the game one last time so you can see that we are back to version 100 now You can see here version 100 and you can do this as many times as you want uh, just replace your existing folder with the version you want to go to and uh, that's about it one last thing don't forget about those two files the mounting images for diamond tools light leave them in a specific place don't move them again and uh, you basically won't have a problem with 106 ever again that's about it guys i hope i helped a lot if i didn't uh, just see this guy's video it's very good and uh, thanks for watching